Hello again. In the second video for today, I want to talk about roles and how to use them in Spring Boot and in Angular. And last time, when I started with this little example project, I built in a little bug. And it was in here. I said role uh, underscore plus role. And role was an object. So it was just uh, a reference and I had forgotten to call get name. I fixed that and now the mapping here is uh, working and it's working fine. I also added the methods for that in here so to actually uh, get the roles that the user has. Um, okay, so how to use the roles with uh, Bing Boot, Angular, and JVT. Let's recap. We need to have an entity user, an entity for roles, and we have to create a many-to-many -many, um, relationship, so, so creating a join table. And it's a good practice to create this with new hash set so you can add and remove users and roles to the um, fitting sets in your code. I don't use it here, I just added it hard code in my database because it's just for, for an, it's just an example. For example. Um, so that's one thing. Now the second thing we saw already in here when you load uh, your user in the user details service and create the user details user, you also need to set the roles and you can load the, the roles from your database. I have them in here in like that admin user, like it would be in an enum or whatever. And then you need to add the role underscore to the name. So it's like role underscore admin and so on, because that's how Spring security works with roles. That's how it expect a role to be. Without that role underscore, it's a permission. That's a little bit different from role, but also an authority. But it won't work if in some places where you just uh, expect has role admin, and it won't work if you don't put that role in front of the actual role in here. So next point is we go to our endpoint and we add a pre-authorize has any role admin in here or alternatively we go in here specify the role in here and say something like has any authority has any role and so on but i prefer to use it on the controller to use it on the controller you have to add this annotation in your configuration enable method security. If you forget, uh, forget this, it may not work. And if it's not working, think about that annotation and add it. So with that, we can look in our front end and see in here we have Fetch unsecure, it's working. Fetch secure, it's not working. Fetch admin, obviously not working because we saw admin and we are not even logged in. So let's log in. We see hello test is a user. Fetch secure works in here and fetch data for admin does not work. And if I log out and go to my name, sign in, I'm an admin, I know fetch data for admin. It's working as expected. Why? Because it's going in here, loading the user. I can just debug in here. Fetch pop. Makes it a little bit bigger here. Fetch this this user. Peter has his password and it has one role and that role is admin and it's mapped in here 
to the role underscore admin. As you see in here, and that's how it can authenticate my person as the admin, as a person who has a permission to uh, query or fetch this endpoint. The next and the last step for today is this playing the roles in the front end and actually working with the roles in the front end. Maybe I will show that next time with an. Uh, root guard for angular i didn't edit it yet in this video but um, i will show you how to transport the backend role to the front end and it's also very easy you have this filter in here and oh no it's not the filter <coughs> You have this token uh, where you create the token, and that's actually uh, called in in here. And here you get the authentication. So authentication has the authorities, and these authorities are like this: role admin again. So you take these authorities, you map the authorities, and replace the role, and collect it to a list and you just can add claims and you can add cla as much claims as you like so add the claim in here roles and or well, you can add an object or whatever to this claims and um, when you then use your token and receive your token let's see we have it in here somehow you can copy it i can add it in here and as you see the sub is peter the role contains roles contain admin and in my front end code let's see where it is front end source app app component ts i can use its JVT helper service to decode the token which I stored in house token as I planned last time and I can just uh, access the roles with that and now I can display them and can use them in different places also as I said I will show you how to use it to yeah protect some routes in your front end so only admins can go to the admin page in your front end and uh, so it's a little bit more protected but don't forget to always protect your endpoints in your back end because it's way more important than to protect anything in the front end because the front end can be tricked and fooled but the back end is a safe place to work okay that's all for today i hope you've learned something the code as always is in the repository if you find any bugs if you want anything special to talk to uh, me for me to tell about uh, talk about like adding um, verification email or sessions or um, what's called uh, refresh token and so on just uh, write it in the comments or talk to me um, and i will make a video about it and to present present the code in my repository so have a nice day and see you next time <laughs>